Let's get right into the material setup. When creating the new material, we want to keep the principal BSDF. Let's start with the nodes that we will plug into the normal as this will create the paint look. You want to create a texture coordinate plugged into a mapping node. The mapping node will allow you to scale the effects. But one thing you can do to make this easier is attach a value node that you can plug into the scale so you only have to change one value. To create the large paint bubbles, you want to create a mapping node that plugs into a noise texture and a color ramp. The main values that will need to be changed is the scale of the noise and the value of the black slider. They will both affect how large and how often these bubbles appear. The next two sets of nodes to be plugged into the initial mapping node are both as followed. A mapping node, noise texture, musgrave texture and a color ramp. The main difference is the value of the nodes. Again, the black value will determine the height of the paint specs. The detail on the noise combined with the scale of the musgrave changes how the detailing looks. The reason I've set the mapping node to 100 is to get it to the size appropriate for the finer detail. To combine them all together, add two mix nodes, change them to color, then add in order for them to be combined before it goes into a bump node. The bump node that is plugged into the normal of the principal BSDF should be set near a strength of 0.2, otherwise what we have set up becomes too strong and looks less desirable. Now for the color, you are going to want to create another texture coordinate and mapping node as this will be able to affect the color independently of the paint effect. Both the musgrave and noise texture will be connected into the math node and the color ramp will decide the color. I choose to keep these colors identical with the only thing that I change is the value in order to keep them closely matching to keep it as realistic as possible. Now this is where the principal BSDF comes in. You have control over the roughness and metalness and if you want you can connect a color ramp from the math node into those slots in order to add further customization to your material. 